Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV and welcome to our fall 2011 cool and cold weather winter glove guide. Now, as you can see in front of me, I have a ton of different gloves out here and we're gonna walk through them in groups of a few. The key thing you need to know is the gloves that I have in front of me are our top picks for cold weather and cool weather all season riding going into the cooler months of the year. This is actually our first video this year as part of our winter gear guides available at revzilla.com slash winter. We'll be releasing them every week. But really what I've done is I've pulled gloves together that are gonna be different types of riding in each different group. So you're gonna have sport, sport touring, longer distance touring, this group's going to be a little bit more basic. You're going to see price ranges in and around just under $100. This group's going to be a bit more technical, which is going to be a deeper temperature range for cold and a bit more protective. You're going to see prices that are plus or minus in that $150 range. And as we move down the table, these become your extreme gloves, which are insanely technical, as well as offer very deep, um, ex very deep uh, range into the colder weather. And then as we move down, you'll see some heated gear, as well as some great gloves that work perfectly with heated grips. So moving into our first group of gloves, which are gonna provide a great value, they're gonna provide a good amount of technicality and a solid range into the cooler weather. We have a first gear glove, a Cortec glove, a Speedy glove, as well as an Alpine Stars. All of them with slightly different style. They're also all going to be waterproof and breathable. What that means is they use a, a membrane built in that's like Gore-Tex, but it's not. It's going to be waterproof from the outside, so no precipitation can get in. And if you're in active riding conditions and your hands are beginning to sweat, you're going to be able to have your hands perspire, evaporate that moisture out so your hands don't get clammy. Each one of these gloves has that liner built in. Starting on my left and working my way over is going to be the touring glove in the mix. It's a full leather construction. It's called the Navigator from First Gear. I'm wearing a size large. I consider it an American cut. Standout features, it's a basic touring styling, visor wiper on the left thumb, reflective piping, a nice soft insert here, and you do have a zipper on the cuff so you can wear it inside or outside of your jacket depending on how you roll. This is going to be $99. It's been a staple in First Gear's collection. Moving to our more sport-oriented option, Cortex Scarab. Again, a nice option that's been around for more than one year. Titanium-coated knuckle, a lot of sliders, a lot of external protection around the lateral side of your arm. This is your sport riding glove as it goes into the cold weather. Again, using a high pore membrane for waterproof breathability. And if we look at the palm, again, it's set up in reinforced areas that are going to give you added protection for sport riding scenarios. So this is going to be the Cortex Scarab. I'm wearing a size large. Again, it's part of the Cortec family, so it's going to be a more American cut. Moving to our more European glove, this is the Speedy T Winter H2 Out at 99 bucks. And by the way, the Cortec Scarab's $85. More of a textile feel, more of a short cup. I'm gonna call this sport touring, coated hard knuckle, reflectivity, and really nice style to it in this Clarina or synthetic suede palm. You're looking at $99, it has a solid amount of insulation. Really, this is for more of an active riding style, and the way that the cuff is designed, in my opinion, it's a great under the jacket option. So 99 bucks from Speedy. And then last but not least is my Alpine Stars Apex Dry Star. In my opinion, this is my pick for the most value in this, in this range. It's also the most vertical, or most versatile rather. We have a full gauntlet glove with Alpine Star's dry star membrane, waterproof breathability, a mix of leather and textile. You have a snap patch on the inside of the finger, soft inserts, a double adjustment here, single at the wrist, single at the cuff. You're using Alpine Star's micro Velcro, so it's not gonna bite your liners. I'm wearing a size extra large, so you're gonna wanna think about this in a more Euro size glove. I typically am an extra large in Alpine Star's sizing, so you can buy the same range of sizes through the Alpine Star's glove. And notice that we have additional support here in the palm of the hand, reinforcement, as, a, as well as an additional layer of leather for protection. So this is gonna be $89 from Alpine Stars. This is the Apex Dry Star, and in my opinion, the one that provides the most bang for the buck here at this first level. So moving into group two of our cold weather winter gloves. You're gonna see four gloves in front of me. They're around that $150 mark. We do have a baby in the bunch. That's the Tornmaster Winter Elite 2, which is around 125 bucks. It's a little bit more basic. We included it because it's really warm. It's the only Hypora glove, meaning it's waterproof breathable, not using Gore-Tex in this mix. We have Gore-Tex for the rest of the three. But 125 bucks, it's a full gauntlet with a gator. And if I open the zipper here, there's a full wind fly that's going to come over the hand to add in uh, the heaviest of downpours as well. If you notice, it's sheepskin, it's goatskin, it has a visor wiper. I'm wearing a size large. That would be my size. It's an American cut glove on the Winter Elite 2. Moving down, now it's all Gore-Tex from here. The first one is going to be the Alpine Stars Polar Gore-Tex glove. This is a short, sport, enduro glove. 
with a nice fleece liner. It is Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex invented the waterproof breathable membrane. That means that there are 9 billion pores per square inch. It gives you the best chance to allow your hand to breathe and be comfortable when it's sweating, but it's still waterproof and breathable, guaranteed for life. It's also windproof. Notice carbon knuckle. We have goat skin. We have textile. We have a full TPU, as you see a lot from Alpine Stars. Again, on the sport side of things, we included this glove because it's $150, tons of bang for the buck, and it's Gore-Tex. Um, that's a tremendous value, and Alpine Stars, you know, takes a lot of pride in the protection element that would go into that glove. It's also a really nice fleece liner in there, so it's going to do a great job as you start to stretch into the colder, colder weather. The next glove is the Held Freezer at $169. It's the coldest temperature range rated glove in this mix. From Held, you're seeing cowhide, it's Gore-Tex, Primaloft, so it's a bit bulky. This is your extreme touring super cold weather glove that's going to be sub $200. Gore-Tex membrane, waterproof, breathable for life, visor wiper built into the index finger. Notice soft inserts and forchettes here for flexibility. As we move it over, you see the palm. Yeah, this is a basic glove, but this glove is going to keep you warm and keep you dry. This is the Held Freezer. Again, I'm wearing about a nine and a half and held. It's a bit different sizing. Make sure you use the size chart. Last, here we have our pick for this section. This is the most versatile, the most bang for the buck. This is going to be the $159 Dionese Scout Gore-Tex. Notice it's a stone PU textile, goat skin on the palm, good amount of protection, coated hard parts here at the knuckle, and mid-digitally a distortion control piece here on the, on the little finger from Dionese. The nice part about this is the interior guts. You're getting waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life from Gore-Tex. Again, a high-end feature, but you're also getting this great fleece liner with a cuff that's adjustable to be a larger cuff or a smaller cuff with the versatility to go over top or underneath your jacket. So again, this is the Dionese Scout. I think that from a, a temperature standpoint, it's going to take you pretty deep into the mix, although not as deep as the Held Freezer, but it's a great mix of sport and sport touring functionality. So moving into our extreme category, which is the most technical, most protective, and also the most warm for the furthest temperature range dip as you go colder into the season, we're going to start out, we have two Revits, a Held and a Dionese, all premium glove manufacturers here at Revzilla. The first glove I'm going to start with is called the Revit Alaska. The Revit Alaska is going to use Thermalite. It's a Gore-Tex glove, waterproof, breathable membrane to the highest degree. I'm going to consider it touring and adventure touring because of the coated hard knuckle as well as thermoplastic inserts along the fingers. It's goat skin, has the snot patch, visor wiper, lots of bang for the buck here at $189. It's going to do a lot of things really, really well for a lot of styles of riding. Notice that we these gloves do begin to get a bit thicker. I'm wearing an extra large in the Alaska. I'm actually an extra large in every glove on the table here. As you go up, some of the more Euro gloves tend to get a little tighter. You have more insulation in there. You need to take that into account. So GTX, Alaska GTX. TX from uh, Revit. Moving next, the next Revit glove is more of a touring glove, doesn't have that hard knuckle protection. This is called the Bastion at $199. The upgrade over the Alaska is that we're going to be using some ripstop fabric. We also have super fabric, tiny ceramic laser welded plates, also wearing a size extra large. Notice the cuff on this guy becomes a little bit thinner. You can adjust it a little bit further down, so you could actually wear this as an undercuff glove. Again, Gore-Tex, waterproof, breathable, still has the visor wiper. It's going to be a great, durable, long distance touring glove. You could stretch it into adventure. Me personally, when I'm going to take it into a dual sport mode in the extreme cold weather, I like to have the hard knuckle protection. Moving on from the Orion at 199 is going to be the Held Warm and Dry at also 199 using super fabric and a palm slider. One of the most protective short and sport gloves for cold weather riding. I am a size 10. Coated thermoplastic knuckle, visor wiper, a mix of textile, the ability to really cinch down this cuff, moving over a double, a single adjuster across the uh, wrist, and you're going to notice it looks like Pittard's leather. We have uh, super fabric as a slider in the palm, and again, this is an extremely popular glove from Held that's going to do well with heated grips or without. It has a nice thermalite or plush lining here to provide great warmth. But again, on the sport side of things, this is going to be one of the better options in the top end of this of the spectrum for both cold and protection. And now we get over to the Dionese Jericho, which you've seen if you watch 2010's guide, it's making another appearance. $209, I'm wearing an extra large. 
This is by far the warmest glove in this mix. It has an insanely comfortable fleece plush interior. It's going to be a Gore-Tex glove. From Dionysia, you're seeing a coated knuckle. You have the DCP system. You have coated hard parts in all of the fingers, a mixture of stone PU and other textile. We have an adjustable gaiter here so that you can go over or underneath your cuff. And then the nice part too is that we have a storm cuff on the inside that if you spend the time in the heaviest of downpours, you're going to be able to run this underneath your cuff and then run the outer cuff over top of it. And if we look here, you're going to have a leather goatskin palm as well with some soft inserts for vibration dampening. Again, out of the three that we've listed or the four that we've listed, this is the most warm. In this type of temperature range, I think I'm gonna to have to give it to the Alaska as my pick just on the bang for the buck sense. It's gonna be $20 cheaper than the Jericho, $10 cheaper than both the uh, Bastion and the Warm and Dry. The Alaska is a ton of bang for the buck. It's gonna do everything really, really well and protect you as you really start to dip into winter riding. Now for 2011, we're moving into another category that we didn't do last year. This is gonna be a glove that's gonna be waterproof, breathable, and take you throughout the temperature range into the winter, but really be a glove that will only work with a heated grip. So it's going to offer you that protection and that wind blocking waterproof capability, but something like a BMW 12 GS that's gonna have a heated grip, this would be our three best options of what we're carrying these days to take you into that temperature range, knowing that's gonna need a little bit of help in the most extreme times of cold weather. The first glove we have is a Summit H2O from Revit. Revit touts it as a summer, really, but geared for spring and fall, um, waterproof glove using their Hydrotex membrane. Again, I'm gonna be an extra large. Notice that it's a mix of cowhide and goat skin, double cuff, you're going to have a honeycomb TPU slider. We have a honeycomb or we have a small plastic slider on the outside of the little finger, visor wiper, fleece on the inside of the hand to wipe your nose with, and then coated hard knuckle. One of the most important gloves of the last year from Revit, it replaces the, it replaces the very popular Zenith H2O, and it's gonna be a phenomenal glove going into that colder season if you do happen to have heated grips and you don't need as much insulation. The next up is going to be the Gore-Tex version really of this glove. It's got a revamp in the style, it's going to be a bit more refined, uses a bit more upgraded technology. It's Gore-Tex, it's called the Phantom GTX, again I'm wearing a size extra large. I've actually crashed in these, they're phenomenal, they hold up, they're extremely versatile. Again, similar features. Reinforcement along the palm, you're going to have a honeycomb dual comp slider with reinforcement up the outside of the little finger. Coated hard shell knuckle with leather now, and you're going to have hard parts mid-digitally along with a visor wiper and a suede snot patch. Remember, you're buying Gore-Tex because it's waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life, and it offers you the best ability to have your hands breathe if you're working hard on the bike. Now, moving into the last glove in this mix, this is going to be the Climb Element at 229. This thing is gnarly. What's the big difference at 229 versus what we've seen in that $199, around $200 range? Titanium hard part, you have Poron XRD, which is a molecular compound that's going to um, disperse energy differently. It's really just an externally stitched, beefed up glove all around using Gore-Tex technology, waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life. New from Climb that I'm gonna consider this is the do-it-all adventure hardcore glove, but it's not a, there's not a ton of insulation, so it's waterproof and it's windproof, but you do need a heated element to help beef this glove up against the cold as you start to dip into the colder weather scenarios. And remember, we do have glove, we have videos on every glove that we showed here in depth today available on the product page on revzilla.com. So moving into our last category of gloves, these are going to be gloves with built-in heat. We really have two standout options this year for 2011. Just like we saw last year, continuing on, we have the Gerbings T5, which is their beefiest glove. Hypura waterproof breathable membrane, Thinsulate lining using the Gerbings microwire system. $169, you are going to have to get a controller to be able to control these bad boys, but you have a textile, leather mix, and using the microwire elements within this glove, you're gonna be able to ride and go from zero to heat in under four seconds. Do a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal job. Gerbings has been leading the way with heated technology for somewhere around 30 years. So check out the T5 if you're looking for a heated gear setup to complement your system. You could always go the other route. Wear the glove that may be waterproof or not that you're used to riding throughout the year and pick up a set of new Powerlet Rapid Fire glove liners. $129, they come with a full wiring harness and really the beauty of this glove is it's, it's, a, it's a spandex style material. You do not feel the heating elements. They're actually built in and they're gonna heat your hands from the inside out. Notice this is where you would connect the line. So $129 comes with both sides and a wiring harness to go right to your bike. New technology for this year. Make sure you watch our full Powerlet video series. So you've seen basic gloves, you've seen more technical and, and warmer gloves, and you've seen our extreme 
um, heated grips as well as heated gloves in this mix. Remember, there's a video review in depth on every glove that covers sizing, specifics, technicality, protection. This is really one of the early videos in our 2011 winter gear guide. Stay tuned, we're gonna be releasing them as we go at revzilla.com slash winner. We hope you gave a lot of information to at least be able to narrow your search either by application for riding or price range or um, amount of protection so you can start to home in what could be the best glove for the style of riding and all the factors that you're trying to cover going into this fall, winter, and holiday season with, with the rest of us hardcore guys that do like to ride regardless of uh, the weather outside. Like I said, find the full gear guides at revzilla.com slash winner. Everything in this glove guide was just about, it was all over $39. We'll ship everything for free. Remember, we do free exchanges, um, and we also will give you 100% back to your card with no restacking fee as long as you send us back a return in brand new condition. You can also earn Teamzilla cash. Thanks for watching our 2011 cool, cold weather, fall, winter glove buying guide at revzilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.